But Mr. President, when you want to hold the bull and bring it down, you have to hold the bull by the horn. But because consistently we have refused to hold the bull by the horn and call it spared, spared, we'll continue to have this problem. If there are issues that have affected the entire of the country, because this is not limited to, uh, to the Northeast or to Borono. In the past, like you said, a few years back, people had thought that it was a Northeastern problem or a Borono problem alone. Now, this problem has permeated the entire nick and crannies of this country. And like other speakers have mentioned here, in these chambers, from the inception of this Ninth Assembly, what has preoccupied us most here, if we take statistics, is the issue of security that have cropped up on a daily basis. Mr. President, I think that it is high time that we approach this differently and we call it spare despair. And I think that it is not just us. We need the buy-in of the other arms of government because we can talk, we can articulate the issues as they are, as we see them, as we relate with our people. But if there is no strong synergy or cooperation from the other arm of government, Mr. President, it ends up on the floor here as mere lip service or mere talking. And so we, as elected representative of our people, must move beyond talking on the floor here every day there the are massive killings of our people. Some weeks back, it was Senator Sani. The other time, it was uh, Senator I.D. Gang. And this has continued to come. We talk about security, security, security. You know, we cannot continue because in the past, we've heard that Boko Haram have been disseminated. Boko Haram has been exterminated. These are all things that have come from uh, the military that are finished with Boko Haram. I think that beyond mere propaganda, let us address the issue as uh, uh, Hadija, uh, Senator Hadija have said here. Let us go to the source of it. It is not about intelligence. We don't lack like intelligence. We know exactly where these people are. These people come in trucks. People who come in trucks cannot be invisible. They come in trucks and, and with you know, we're armed. The song we should round up, please. President, I support uh, the motion as moved by Maram Shatima. But we'll continue to observe one minute silence for the people, for Nigerian people. Uh, but then we should move beyond that. Like, you have, you have set up a committee. Uh, let us see what that committee comes up with. And then we can sit down with the other arm of government so that we can seriously address this problem and put it behind us. I so submit, Mr. President.